Welcome to Happy Acres Farm. Today is January the 24th, 2022. My name is James Matthews. We raise fruits on this farm. And I appreciate you watching our videos. Several years ago, I cut back some 33-year-old plants that my father had planted back in 1987. And I had, was in the process of revitalizing them. And I got a lot of emails pertaining to follow-up pictures. So what I'm going to do today is show you the plants that I cut back. And then I'm going to show you what else I did to the orchard in order to attempt to save my father's orchard. These plants are the ones on this front row are the ones that I cut back to revitalize and this is their progress over the time from the last video. One of the issues that we had to deal with was that we had no sun penetration. And because of my father's medical conditions, he was unable to prune the plants. So they ended up growing extremely tall. When I came out to take the farm over, here's one that I cut. When I came out to take the farm over, plants were approximately 16 to 18 feet tall. And that made it virtually impossible to pick and you couldn't walk through the orchards. So these are the plants that are on the video. Now what I want to show you is what I did to the remaining orchard. As you can see, this orchard holds uh, quite a few blueberry uh, plants. There's 500 is what I counted. And what I did is I went in and I purchased me a very nice handheld chainsaw and some electronic pruning shears. And I went in and I cut the plants back. Now rule of thumb is you don't cut blueberry plants or any kind of plants back over 25% because you'll put the plants back into a dormant state. Well, right now they're dormant. January the 24th, they're dormant. So I'm not worried about putting them in a dormant state. However, I will not get a lot of blueberries off this particular orchard. But I have another orchard that has 700 plants in it that I will get some off of. Last year, in the spring, I came to the front row and I pruned the front row back. And I'm going to go down to the end so you can get a better look. But I cut this row back. And just from last year, you can see the progress. It's, it's we still have snow on the ground. So if I fall, please don't laugh too hard. You can see the progress of the plants just over the last year. Now one thing that I did on these particular plants is I actually cut them high and I wanted to allow the bottom to start getting sunlight so I could start having bushier plants and so at the end of this year I'm going to cut the tops off these down to the sizes that I've cut the other plants down to and hopefully within a matter of a couple of years this orchard will be revitalized. Now this section of the orchard which I cut last year I did not hedge which means cutting the tops of them out. I left them tall and the reason for it is because I'm putting a new greenhouse in and I want to take those toppings or pieces turn them into cuttings and I want to root some more blueberry plants from them so I left them up but this is what I have done to a 500 plant orchard in order to revitalize it I will tell you that it took a lot of work and yes that's my little excavator it took him also I pushed so many piles of cuttings down that I had to use him to do it. In fact, there's a pile of the cuttings there, there, 
is a nice pile of what I took off the, these plants right here. As you can see, you're going to get a lot of cuttings. So, if you decide to try to revitalize some older plants, what I would recommend is perhaps doing maybe 25% of them one year and then another 25% the following year and then another 25% the following year. What that'll do is that'll put you at about a four year gap from your first to your last to start getting berries again and of course you can cut them all at one time if you wish but as you can see these plants have very large stalks the shoots are very huge and I actually pulled some up that had died and the root base on these particular plants go out for 10 or 15 feet but you can get an idea let me pull this up basically of how tall the plants were standing before I cut them back this is just one piece that I cut off of it but you can see that's a lot of blueberry plant but you got to break an egg to make an omelet and so this is a revitalized 1987 orchard thank you for watching my videos I will continue making them this year the COVID has slacked off a little bit we're able to start getting more activity going on on the farm and if you have any questions or comments leave them on my site and I'll be more than glad to respond thank you for visiting Happy Acres Farm welcome to Happy Acres Farm Today is a beautiful day. It is December the 16th, 2022. I get a lot of people that will call me and ask me about older plants. Either they got them from the grandparents or from their parents, but the plants were not taken care of and wanted to know what to do with them instead of digging them up. And so what I did, my father planted these plants back in about 1987. And when he planted them, they were probably about the size of this little stick right here. Well, my dad unfortunately got ill and was unable to take care of the plants, so they became overgrown. I've made a video of, these, of this orchard. There's 500 plants in this orchard. And I made a video of this orchard after I'd pruned it. And it's one of my videos called Revitalization of 30-Year-Old Plants, I believe. But it was amazing because when I cut them back, I had to use <laughs> chainsaws and I purchased me some battery-operated pruning shears because, as you can see, the size of the plant is tremendously large. And base root, the base is very large. So I cut them back. And at the time, my mother was alive, and she said, you killed them. I said, no, man, I have not killed them. I've given them a new chance of life. And so... See, these plants have very large stalks. The shoots are very huge. And I actually pulled some up that had died. So she watched them, and she watched them, and she watched them. Unfortunately, on June a uh, second, she passed. But I want to show you here and they were nothing but little sticks or large sticks sticking out of the ground when I cut them back but the Lord has been very good to us because this particular orchard produces very large and very sweet blueberry for the documentation but I can tell you that you can come in and pick thousands of pounds of blueberries off this particular orchard but what I wanted to do is I wanted to share a follow-up for those that are afraid or apprehensive about going into an old plant now you'll see this plant was cut back to here and here 
and here it was just cut back and it was nothing but little pieces sticking up out of the ground but this is the wonderful thing about a blueberry plant once you cut it what it does is it goes into a I'm damaged mode kind of like when you cut yourself on your skin your body sends down coagulants to stop the bleeding and then the healing processes of your body fixing itself well, that's what a blueberry plant does. It sees that it's hurt and it starts focusing on repairing itself. Now, one thing I will tell you is that the reason these plants are so vigorous is because the root structure is not right there under that plant. The root structure is out here in the middle of this row. And I came down with my excavator and I cleared all the old cuttings out and believe it or not, it took about a half a day just to get the cuttings out of it because the cuttings were very large. And uh, after I let them dry, after I let them dry for a while, I burned them. But I want you to look and see. You can save your plants. It doesn't really matter how bad they're overgrown. What does matter is whether or not you have any kind of disease or any type of pests that are living in them. But like I said, you can look down this row and you can see the dark pieces of plant sticking up, which was my the original plant where I cut them off at. And you can see in just one year, I mean, that's just simply amazing. So now what I will have to do, you don't stop here. What you want to do is if you allow this to grow, it's going to lay out across your rows. And then your other rows will lay out across that row and you won't be able to harvest your berries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in about a foot on these and cut them. Now I, I cut with hedge trimmers. I prune with hedge trimmers and chainsaws on the big stuff. On the little stuff I cut with my hand cutters. But you can see right now if I were to come in with a hedge trimmer and just simply come in and go across this it will reduce the height of the plant to about five feet and it would remove all of these upper branches however that's where I get my cuttings from so springtime or actually prune in January these plants or the cuttings will be taken into the greenhouse where I will make new plants out of them but I wanted to share this with you to show that you can salvage, you can revitalize plants that you may have inherited or that were on a piece of property that you purchased or given to you by your, your family. It just takes a little bit of time. You can take them in approximately two years, you can start harvesting a lot of berries. The average blueberry plant of five years old, well, you can get about maybe 25 pounds of blueberries off of them. These plants were so large, and they are large, that um, this one particular orchard right here has about 7,000 pounds of blueberries in it. So, wish you a very, very happy holiday. Hope you have a very nice Christmas. I'm gonna try my best to have one. And I thank you for watching my videos. And if you have any questions, Email me at james at happyacresfarm.net or you can go to my website www.happyacresfarm.net and you can uh, send me a message. And we also have a, a uh, icon on that particular site where you can go and either purchase plants from the nursery or you can purchase the cuttings if you wish to attempt to make your own blueberry plants. And Believe it or not, I know inflation's crazy right now and everything costs a lot of money, but I'm not wired that way. You can get all the cuttings that you want and they're only 50 cents a piece. So again, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will continue to make videos for you to be able to watch. And like I said, call me anytime you need any help. Thank you for watching my videos from Happy Acres Farm. Goodbye.